Good day fellow investors. A few months ago we launched our YouTube portfolio and in this video I want to update on it and explain the details. We now have 8 positions, tomorrow a new one coming, the goal is to get to 30. And I'll try to do every month, every second month a portfolio overview, discuss some of the updates but also on the covered stocks when something interesting happens. I will update with special videos. And the goal of this video is to remind you of the goals of the portfolio, give a risk and reward overview of it and discuss the key positions and also update mostly on rubies and the other companies that we haven't made a special video on. The whole goal of this portfolio is like Peter Lynch says, follow 2030 stocks, you know, you learn about them and then invest when the price fits you. That's why we added Apple, this week. So it's a great business. Now the key question is not whether it's undervalued or not. The key question is at what price it fits your portfolio. So let's start by discussing the portfolio strategy, goals and also the disclaimer. This was the first video, Apple, the playlist, everything is there and I will put all the links in the description below if you want to dig more into this is the current portfolio. We have bought eight businesses for now. When it comes to buying, we buy interesting things to watch, to understand the risk and reward there. And that's the goal of the portfolio, to follow 30 businesses over time. And from those 30 businesses, I'm sure some of you and some of us will find great fits to the portfolio over time at certain levels. Because the core is to get an idea here or there. I don't think every business is a buy at some point, but we are all different. And I'm sure from this, you will find the fit for your portfolio. And that's the core of this. You will follow 30 businesses over time. I'll do the research, summarize it here on YouTube. And I think there is immense value in understanding the risk and reward and then seeing how something fits you over time because the core of investing is not whether something is undervalued or not, is so that you can reach your financial goals. And then depending on the risk and reward at that moment, we have different exposures. For example, if we look at the current portfolio, WBD, I bought 30,000, which is let's say a full position. We still have one or two buys, with 1 million available. We can buy from let's say 5,000 to 50,000. Rubies, full position, we'll discuss more now. Gold, there is a strategy, special video, but we started with uh, 15, then we added 10,000. Facebook, also full position because of the risk and reward thesis, we'll discuss now. And then Apple, the recent buy, just 6,000 because it looks overvalued, but it is a great business. So if it goes down, happy to buy more, but the exposure also explains, let's say the risk and reward. I really think it will be a great educational journey and also a great investing journey. And then you will see what fits you over time. I have 30 stocks here, 30 to 50 on my research platform. And from that environment, I'm sure I will find something to invest in over time. I just need one great business a year and that's it. Now when it comes to the strategy here, I will update on earnings, big changes, selling the overvalued, putting in the undervalued and uh, just building, compounding the knowledge. And that's the essence of investing. It's a lifelong process. The goal is to learn. This is from the first explained YouTube video and uh, research educational purposes. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. And also if we check the demo account I'm using here, this is from interactive brokers. Keep in mind, this is not a brokerage account, paper trading account for educational purposes. I will discuss why not real money in another video. And this is from Interactive Brokers. It's an international broker that covers whatever we want to buy. And if you want to check it as a brokerage, you can click the link in the description below. I get a small fee just if you click, no matter if you convert or not, just if you click, I get a fee. So thanks for checking that out if you're looking for an international broker. Now let's discuss the portfolio situation position by position. So we have discussed Warner Bros, made the first analysis, then we recently made the update. So that's everything there. 
Now, Rubis, the French, Caribbean, African oil distributor, very, very interesting things happening there. Let's dig into a little bit deeper here. So the stock had a jump after earnings, then went down again, but the activity of the group was very, very positive. All the numbers have been improving. The cash flows have been there with limited capital expenditure. So they are making about 300 million euros a year. If we compare that to the market cap, that is a 15% free cash flow yield. So all well there. They have some debt, which is something to follow. They are investing in other sectors, diversifying. And yes, as oil stocks, it's very important to follow these oil stocks because they really had a great time in 2022, this might revert to the mean, but that's something we follow. For now, it looks extremely cheap and we'll see how it develops over time. When the company discusses, they have no relations to Russia, Ukraine. So now volumes were up. People are back to traveling in the Caribbean, Africa and everything all looks great from a financial perspective and this is also something very important and why we follow everything because if you look at the change in volume sold for oil you see that even in europe everything is growing caribbean is growing things are growing for oil which has a big impact on the oil thesis and whether oil will go away or not the outlook is very positive for the end of the year. So really good numbers from Rubis. I'll keep following it in the portfolio. You can check again the starting thesis in the description below. Facebook update. Well, Facebook turned from a growth story into a value investment. So growth story here. Now it's a value investment with a low P ratio. So from 30 to 10, the key issue is that Facebook suddenly stopped growing. So if you compare Q2 with the last Q2, it has a drop in revenues. And now the market is worried that this will go lower as less people use Instagram, more use TikTok. We'll see how that works. But still, the fundamentals are there. And if they can revert this by doing buybacks or whatever, it will be a great value investment. That's what we follow. Devro, the sausage casing company, all great numbers, but the stock has been pushed down. The P ratio is low, the dividend is high. The operating profits went down, but just because of currency headwinds that might revert, from a strategic highlight perspective, everything looks good. So we'll just keep it there in the portfolio. Nothing has changed from the initial thesis. On Berkshire, we have made a video update. Berkshire always makes money, but it depends on how much you want to pay for Berkshire. And therefore I have here a low exposure. If it goes down, then I will buy more. Here you will see also the explanation of all these companies, we have to discuss Verizon in the future soon because it's getting cheap, 3M again. And Berkshire, you can check the valuation here and see how it fits you at what expected return. ADM, we'll have also discussed. Apple, we have just bought here, link in the description. And for now, we have 8 out of 30 businesses to follow. It's a mix of different businesses for different strategies. I think it will be a great learning experience for those who want to follow. That's for you. If you want to follow, it's for you that I do this. It will be a great learning experience. And over the years, I'm sure it will give great value to your portfolio. Thanks for watching. Until the next update, I'll see you in the next video.